Hey, what's up friend? My name is Chris Crone and today I'm going to share with you the foundational principles of building your own real estate business. All right, I believe any foundation of getting in the game of real estate involves five steps. So in setting up your real estate business, here's step number one. What's the goal, right? I mean, you gotta have plans, you gotta have a vision for what you want and you need to have a why behind it all, right? Trust me, real estate, just like probably any other business, is not a business that you wanna get into half-cocked or without a full conviction that, hey, I'm doing this. Do you know why and do you know for what end? You know, for me, when I got actually in the game of real estate, my big why, was that I was afraid of living a mediocre financial life. Um, I knew that I would always make the most of any opportunity, but I felt like my life was financially in someone else's hands. I felt like it was in society's hands. And it wasn't until I realized that, hey, Chris, no one is gonna do this for you. And do you really wanna waste a lot of life on this? And the answer is no, I wanna actually rise up and make this happen. That's when everything changed for me. I'll never forget, I had just bought my second investment property and my wife fully got on board because she's like, Chris, our house is paid for now and we have $600 left over a month. Like, what are we gonna do with this money? And it was in that moment that I realized, oh my gosh, my wife is supporting me. She's telling me we should buy more homes. And that's when we decided that we should buy enough homes to have $10,000 a month residually. And when I hit it, then I can quit my job. And I'll tell you what, that was all the motivation that I needed for picking myself up and getting where I wanted to go. Three and a half years later, I had 25 homes. I had a $12,000 residual income. I drove to my boss's office, top down in my convertible. And I was actually nervous and scared when I actually fired myself from my, from my job. But I'll tell you, I'll never forget what it felt like when I walked out. How I was breathing air that I had never breathed before and I've been breathing it every day since. And most people, you have no idea what you're breathing, but it is not the air of a free man or a free woman unless you know what it's like to not have to work unless you choose to. And that's what freedom is all about. It's moving from have to to choose to. And right now, the work that I'm doing, even in making this video for you, it comes from a deep yearning and a deep passion that says, I wanna help better your life. It worked for me, I've been able to help thousands, and why not you too? So, that's a pretty deep why, that's my goal. Do you have a vision for what you want, do you know what you wanna achieve that will make it worthwhile for you to get in your real estate business? I want you to know what it is, I want you to articulate it, I want you to write it down, I want you to print it out, I want you to put it on the wall, I want you to review it every day so that you can remember when it gets hard why you're gonna stick with it no matter what. So if you're starting a real estate business, then you're going to need an entity or a business structure. And listen, I'm not here to give you any kind of legal advice. I can't do that, I'm not an accountant. But I will tell you that it is pretty uniformly agreed upon here in the United States that your real estate business should be done in most cases under what's called an LLC or limited liability company. Now, I don't wanna complicate things, but I have a parent company that owns all my subsidiary LLCs. I put multiple properties in each one of my LLCs. And what that business structure does is it creates protection between my personal life and my business life. You know, on thousands of properties, I've never been sued. And that's a good thing. But I have protection if something like that were to happen. And so, yes, you wanna make sure you're taking all the proper precautions so that your personal life and your business line, they, that they're separated and that there's a firewall in between them. The third thing that you need is a profitable strategy. Profitable strategy essentially means that you're gonna buy real estate with the intention of making money. Now I know that this sounds really obvious, but you need to understand that real estate is a business and there's more than enough strategies out there where you can do this business and you can lose money. So I want you to keep it to the forefront of your brain that the purpose is to be profitable, which means you need to pick a strategy that can be profitable. Now there are many strategies out there. The book that I wrote, The Straight Path to Real Estate Wealth, the synopsis is the free book that I give. I just bought a truckload of these and, I, and you're welcome to have one for free if you click the link in the description below. And what the book essentially does is it talks about what I believe to be the singular best strategy in all of real estate that takes the least time, the least effort, the least risk, and is certainly super profitable while creating a massive value for people. And that's a mouthful, but that's the truth of the matter. I evaluated 30 different strategies and I found a hybrid for the winning strategy. If you don't know what that is, get a copy of my book. It's free so that you can have a profitable strategy. At the end of the day in business, when you take all your revenues, which includes all your rents, and you subtract out all your expenses, whatever's left over, that's a profit. And so if you have, if you have the desire and the intention to be profitable, I'll tell you the best part about it. Some of you might be thinking, wow, Chris, I can quit my job, at, you know, have this extra money, I can, you know, I, I can have you know, several thousand dollars left over a month. Do you know what I love the most about being profitable? 
It means that everything in life I don't like doing or I don't want to do, I have the ability to leverage someone else's skill set that does like doing it. And I can create a trade with the mighty Benjamin and say, hey, now you can do some of these things. And that really works for me because at the end of the day, I've asked myself, what do I really want? This is just a little tangential bonus. We'll make it super quick. We don't want real estate and we don't want wealth and we don't want money. We don't want cars. We don't want nice houses. We don't even want to travel. The only reason why we desire those things is because we're pursuing a feeling because we want to feel a certain way and enough of the right feelings ends up creating a resonating feeling of fulfillment. If you want to be fulfilled in your life, what you're really after is feeling a certain way. And so when I use that money to outsource this project, have someone else do this, have someone take care of that, what I'm doing is I'm practicing a different level of emotional intelligence that says, hey, I want to love every part of my life. Not the parts that I don't want to like, I just want to like all the parts and choose into the parts that I really, really like. So that's what that third step is. Here's the fourth foundational principle in setting up your business. Never, ever, never, 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 ever, ever, ever stop buying real estate. It's not about these 25 homes, give me a six figure residual income and I'm done. I remember when I had sold one of my properties, put a big huge grundle of money in the bank and I walked away satisfied thinking, oh my gosh, I won so big, look at what I have in my bank account. And when I walked out of the bank, I realized, oh my gosh, what am I gonna do with that money? I'm gonna put it in real estate. And then it dawned on me, I already owned the real estate. I could have kept the property, kept the cash flow, refinanced some money out of it, bought another one, increased my portfolio, increased my cash flow. I wasn't gonna leave the money sitting in the bank, I was gonna put it in real estate. And ever since that moment, I've realized more property is more better, which means that in my lifetime, I'm still a young buck. At the rate that I'm acquiring homes, I have a plan of becoming a bona fide billionaire, and then I get to enjoy the second half of my life just giving it away. Doesn't that sound fun? Doesn't that sound like a really fun life? I, it sounds great to me. So with the fourth step, you just never stop buying real estate. Even when you meet your goal and the cash flow's coming in, or maybe you've replaced your job income or you like your job, you're gonna stay there, just don't stop. You build it and build it and build it so you can pass it to the next generation, the next generation, it becomes legacy wealth. And the cool part about that is it means that you're producing so far beyond what you need that you now have the excess to help really a whole lot of other people too. Which by the way, feels really good and produces that feeling of fulfillment that I'm talking to you about. If the first step was to have a goal, this fifth and final step is to have a vision. And the vision is, what are you gonna do with the money once you have it? You know, maybe it's the first X dollars or something for you, but start thinking bigger than that. Who are the people that you wanna impact? What are the organizations that are worthy of your time, your money, your effort? Have a vision bigger than what you get out of this for you. Because if you look at the bigger part of the video that I've just done here, a big part of it comes down to regulating how you feel and being really satisfied and happy with your life. Another big part of that is, what is the bigger cause? What is the bigger reason? What is the bigger why? What's something bigger than you, so big that it can take your breath away? That is something that I wanna invite you to get incredibly committed to. Because with these five steps, you're not just going to be able to launch your real estate business, but you're gonna put purpose and meaning behind it. You're going to assign a meaning to it that is going to be so much more useful and helpful so that when times get tough, you can rise up and muscle through it and make it happen. Hey, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it was useful for you. If you liked it, share it with somebody else. Certainly give me the thumbs up and subscribe and ring that bell because guess what? I got video content like this coming out every single day. I love producing this for you because I've already seen how many lives with the millions have watched my videos that it's been able to impact. And I hope today's video touched you in this, and, and I hope tomorrow's video and the next day after are gonna continue impacting you in a positive way. If you're looking for, okay, Chris, I could do your steps on my real estate business, but now I need an expert to come in and help mentor and really get this party started, click the link below. You're gonna get a free consultation with a member of my team. You also have a link below for getting a free copy of my book. Between my book and talking to my team, you got everything that you need to actually go out there and execute a multi-million dollar winning real estate game plan. Thank you for watching today. We'll see you tomorrow.